Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. And today we're gonna talk about decluttering. So have you guys been doing that this month as we are working on our own rules for no buys, little buys, and just being a little bit more conscious about how big our collections are getting? I'll tell you, I kind of gave myself a word for the month. This month, and this is close to the end of January, the word was organized. So I'm a pretty organized person, I have to say. Um, I didn't really think anything wasn't organized, but I really did feel like I needed to like Marie Kondo my collection, not get rid of it, but like go through everything, make sure nothing's turned, make sure everything's still bringing me joy. And in the process, I was able to kind of just like chunk out things in my collection that I definitely need to revisit, but I was very successful in organizing. And I've been sharing a little bit of that so far, and I definitely am filming a little bit more to share with you over the next month or so. So that was my word of the month, organize. I think I'm going to have a word of the month every month, and that's just going to kind of push me through all these different goals I'm trying to accomplish at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some of my tips and tricks that's what I do here and I like to ramble. It's a sneaky way for me to get to chat with you guys. And I was going to insert pictures, but I know that I've deleted some, so I will still add pictures when I can. They will just pop up over here, but I don't wanna like reference a picture because I've even been organizing my phone and I may have deleted a couple of the pictures. So I'm just gonna talk about what I do with these items as I go through and you know, it's makeup, skincare, hair care, bath and body works, all that good stuff. So um, here we go. We're going to jump right in. So the first category of things that I decided I was going to declutter was all of my home fragrance outside of candles. I've kind of found myself collecting all the things. Whereas before I would say I collected makeup palette, like eyeshadow palettes, candles, and fine fragrance mist. But as I'm looking through my stuff, I'm realizing that Whatever justifications I made, for example, in the area of makeup, I did quit doing subscri subscription boxes for a couple of years, but I had done them for about five. So I had built up quite a huge, overwhelming to me collection. So I had to declutter it. I had to go through and use stuff. I had to give stuff away and it didn't even pain me to say, oh, I know what I spent on that. And I got my collection before I moved here down quite a bit. And then I kind of started getting back into it. Um, during the closing time of 2020, I don't like to reference it too much because, um, you know, YouTube doesn't like that. I think there's a train going by. Yep. Okay. I've lost my train of thought because a train came through. We just had a busy town day. It's always Saturdays. It's really busy around here. Every day is super quiet, but you know, here we go. So I started with my makeup. And like I said, I only used to collect eyeshadow palettes. I'd had way too many that I could ever, ever, ever get on my eyeballs. But everything else was low. Like I'd have like one powder and one mascara at a time. And then like I said, I kind of started back into those subscription boxes or just watching a lot of TikTok where they were like, this is, this is the best thing ever and you got to get it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. So I started looking through these drawers and I went ahead and took this basket and I went through each of my drawers. I didn't fill, it wasn't the goal, but like each of my drawers had to have something go into this basket. That's why my thumbnail included this basket. This basket was huge for me this month. Um, it helped me so much. So bigger parts of my collection, I had to fill this guy. Smaller parts of my collection, I just had to put some things in here. Cause again, I may only now have four powders, so I don't necessarily think I need to fill a basket. Um, another thing, my puppy's playing with a bone out there, so you might hear that too. Um, so another thing, like I said, I did for my project use it up is I had a, am I going to use it up in the next three months? Do I need to, I had another one, the same size to put into like a giveaway, maybe sell some of my car if they're new, give to friends and family, set aside for gifts. I had another one of these and then I had one that was just for creams that had gone bad, body sprays I was holding on to just a thimble of, um, you know, things like that. Cause I do, I did have quite a bit of that in my collection. So now it's fresh, it's updated, it's organized, it's rotated. Like those are words that all fit into the organized theme for me. So I do, I did have exact numbers on some things. Um, but I'm just going to share briefly. And like I said, this is going to be a video that I do every month just for myself to be more like, just keep it like 
in the front of my mind. Like I want to do it all the time. I, I don't want to like, oh, I'll uh, declutter again near Christmas. I'm just going to take this basket. And if I fill this basket once a month, I'm going to feel good. And it can be stuff to put in a product, use it up, stuff to give away, stuff I want to use up. But like, this is a good chunk to come out of my collection. So it looks dirty, but it's not. It's just a shadow. It's clean. Okay. Let's go into these categories. So eyeshadow palettes, I had over a hundred. I decluttered 25. That is still way too many. But if for me, knowing myself, I need to take very small chunks away from myself. So I wasn't able to just say half, like maybe I'll get ruthless at some point, but that was really good. And they were just older things. I don't use anymore. Things I were keeping for packaging. So, um, again, I don't know if I have a picture anymore, but I deleted or deleted. I decluttered 25. That's really good for me. So the next area was makeup bags. So I had over 30 and it wasn't just makeup bags. It was makeup bags, travel bags, little tote bags, purses, but it was a lot. I'm one person that I've kept purses from high school because I love them so much. I'm a big crossbody purse person. So purse person. So, and I actually sold 31 for two years. So I had a lot of those kind of things. So overall I had 31. I decluttered 16. I kept 14 and I tossed one. One I was hanging on to because of the color and the strap was broken. I don't know if I thought I was just going to like magic and it had like a like a metal piece strap. It wasn't like something I could sew. I can't sew, but it was broken, broken. But I was like, ooh, the color. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes we have to like really think about our connection to these things. So the next area was Oh, body care. And I kind of explained that with the basket system. I don't have numbers for that. I filled a basket for to go. And then I actually did the project use it up. So that's two baskets out of my collection. Now, I know I haven't started sharing that with you all. That's coming. I still have a lot. I still have a lot. But I know that there's two baskets out. One's in the works of me using up and one's in the works of, like I said, sometimes I'll throw some stuff up on Macari if it's brand new. Sometimes I give it away. Sometimes I might hold it in a bag to like take back up north with me when I go, but it's out of my collection. Okay, so another area that I really needed to do a deep declutter of is home fragrance outside of candles. So I have just started collecting everything. I collect the wallflower refills. I would say before sass, I didn't even have maybe two, I have those little plastic crates they come in. So I had like two crates of four for each season. Now I would say I've probably doubled that just because they were $1.87 and I bought 10 and then I bought 10 more. And so I don't mind. I will use those. Those I use about six to eight a month. Well, mine right now are not going super quick. I don't know if I need to get new wallflower plugs. Um, I've been using the same ones for over a year. So, I mean, besides seasonal, like I ch change them out for Halloween, change them out for Christmas. Other than that, they're the same ones. They kind of just match my decor. Um, but I'm not worried about that, but now I've kind of started collecting. Wax melts was the same way. I really enjoy wax melts, but I use candles. I use candles way more. I do think wax melts are important, especially if you get like headaches or have breathing issues though, because as I'm seeing more of my candles come and become sooty, I just start thinking about the fact that I'm breathing all of that in. And so are all of you. So, um, you know, like I said, wax melts are, they do serve a good purpose, but I've had some sitting in there forever. So I had decluttered 24 and I kept 17. Um, I really, really enjoy Goose Creek wax. Um, the adulting candle company I enjoy. Um, I do like some from Walmart too. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't need 34 or no, what's that? Like closer to 41 packs of wax when I rarely pick, go for it. I, I mostly will go for a candle. Um, so I have a couple of, um, warmers because my mom was a Scentsy rep. So I have some warmers that I don't even use because I don't want them to get broken. So it's just kind of one of those things where I don't need all that. I don't need all that. So that was easy. I'm in the process right now of doing the following categories, skin, hair, and perfumes. I'm not going to declutter a bunch of perfumes, but if there's a few that I've gotten that I just know, like, it's going to be so rare that I'm going to grab those, I'm going to probably pull those out and I'll share that with you in that perfume video and hair and skin. Again, I have so many hair care products. I have like a drawer of dry shampoo hairsprays. I have a drawer for curly hair because sometimes I just leave my hair wet and do a scrunch and that's like work hair. I have like heat protectant because I do curl my hair a lot. Um, so I have like a little three drawer thing full of hairspray and hair stuff. Like 
too much really. So I'm going to do the basket trick on that collection. I'm not going to share a whole video, but I'll insert like a picture or something here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my skincare. I really just do a simple, I'm going to share more of that too in my self-care Sunday. Like I'm not going to do like a self-care Sunday where you see me doing the routine, but I'm going to share like the things I add in that aren't just like daily. And I do like a cleanser and I do double cleanse. So sometimes I'll need maybe multiples, like one that's in the shower, one that's like just to take off my makeup at night. And then I do moisturize every day. Um, and then I like a skin spray, like a soothing spray. So I have Murad and the SOS spray. Um, but I have from just subscription boxes, a whole tower of moisturizers and cleansers and masks. I don't even like paper masks anymore. I'm gonna share in my, my self-care Sunday that I do a mask every Sunday, um, but I do like a thicker, like the honey potion from pharmacy. That's the one I do every Sunday. Um, but I've been going through those masks just to get through them because they, they come in subscription boxes. It's not even something I chose to purchase, but then all of a sudden I have this little collection. So think about that stuff for yourself. Um, again, this month was good for me because it was really helpful. I still bought stuff, but it was really helpful for me to see these collections all pulled apart. Kind of stressed myself out by pulling everything apart and then putting it back together. But now I know what I have. And I actually like, you know, like I said, the Marie Kondo thing, I like looked at everything. I looked at all of my body creams. I have way too much body cream. I've got a body cream problem, but I really was able to see what I have. And that way, if I'm adding to it, I kind of have that still in my, my memory, what I have. So it was good. It was helpful. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I really wanted to share in this one that, um, oh, I did actually want to share you know, I do have some collection videos coming. So next up, I'm going to do like the rest of my fine fragrance mist. If I haven't shared one part, um, I have one. I'm doing that in two parts too because it's a big collection. I'm doing my perfume collection in two parts. Um, and then, like I said, the home reef. Like I'm going to share the collections and you'll kind of see how I decluttered um, if I didn't get those pictures in this video because I did <laughs> delete a lot of stuff on my phone. Um, and then I really wanted to kind of finish up with did I stay in my no buy? So no, I didn't. I did not stay in my no buy. You guys have been so helpful to me this month though. So there's no apology. I just didn't. I bought stuff. So that's all we're going to say. Um, so what did I actually purchase? So I'm still calling it a low buy because I was intentional. So the, the purchases I made, two purchases at Bath and Body Works, two redeem rewards. Um, so one was like 13 bucks, one was like 26 bucks. And I redeemed eight rewards because I wanted some of the new spring line and that was the cheapest way for me to do that and then I did use up the rest of my gift card so I'm not counting that in the total of what I've spent cash but um when I went into candle exchanges I had picked up a few things I shared with you as well and then the candle online order that I placed was my biggest splurge of this month which really is not bad because I closed out of I do shop at Torrid all the time and they had I had two hundred dollars in Torrid cash which basically makes everything 50% off. So like if you spend 50, you get 25 off. And I had $200 of that. So essentially I could have got $400 worth of stuff for 200, if that makes sense. And I was working on a cart and I closed out. There was some door busters at Lane Bryant for just, I love cache for their like undergarments. And I had built a cart. It was like 10 for 39. I was like $3.90, but then what did I start doing? I added a sweater and a pair of boots. And again, it's not that if I want them, I can get them. That is actually the truth. Yes, but I have a lot of these things. I need to use what I have. And again, if I make a purchase, not a big deal, but I probably have two pairs of boots that I've never worn because I'm just like, eh, I don't know. They don't look good on me, whatever. So I need to wear those first. Same thing. Like I have a drawer full of really cute underwear. I don't need to buy those. They were just $3.90 a piece. So I closed out of that. I closed out of a Victoria's Secret when they did the 25% off. Um, anyways, I closed out of a lot of different impulse shopping. I was bored sitting on the couch um, events, if you will, but I did participate in that candle order. So for the month out of pocket for January, I spent $137, which again, I don't have to give you those figures. I'm giving them because I get to watch this again and say, oh yeah, that wasn't too bad. Look at you in April. <laughs> what happened? What, what wagon did you fall off of? But um, 
like I said, that doesn't include that little gift card I spent and it doesn't, I didn't add up all the cards I closed out of, but it was helpful to have you guys this month and to have this like community come together to say, we're just going to watch what we buy. We're going to try to do better. I did do better this month. So this was a total win. Um, and I was able to organize my entire collection and now I get to share that with you in a much easier way. Um, and like I said, if going forward, I'm going to set myself some goals knowing that a no buy is just a little too hard for me because I just got so FOMO over here looking at, you know, like Goose Creek's Valentine's Day candle collection. I was like, you don't need it. And I was like, girl, I'm not going to do it. And I was like, don't do it, you know, and I didn't. And so that's good. But like I said, I still got a couple things, but I'm really happy with my purchases. So this isn't a justification. This is me just talking to my friends here about, no, nope, didn't make the no buy, but I did stay in a low buy because $137, really, if I would have been even a little bit accountable this month, I can't even tell you what I would have spent. I don't even want to think about it. So that's it. That's all for this one. Thank you guys so much. This was a ramble rambly video but it was a nice way for me to wrap up all that we have gone through this month it's only been a month january has taken so many of our celebrity favorites and brought more tornadoes and storms and crazy weather and just a lot of other things going on so just know that i'm always thinking about you guys because you guys are always keeping me feeling like i'm in your blessings too so um just keep ahead of it you guys if you haven't started decluttering or if you're like yeah, I wanted to be better in January, but it absolutely didn't happen. That's okay. That's what February is for. So thank you guys. I will talk to you in another video very soon. Take care. Let me know what you think of this declutter idea, like just kind of popping in once a month to chat about it and the low buy and all that, just to kind of keep it in the forefront of our minds. Would you like that? So I can keep doing it. Let me know. And thank you. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.